go. I have this is my 40 meter. This is my 40 meter rotatable dipole. 40 meters. Okay, right here. This is a, a 20 meter. 20 meters. Right there. I gotta cut this wire. 20 meters. I put this uh, silicone over there to keep this rope from coming loose. So that. Okay. Just look. Here's the other one. 20 meters. Works perfect, man. The 40 meter, I get 1.2 to 1 SWR. And I get, on the 20 meter, I get 1.2.5 on SWR. That's after raising it. Yep. Works worked out perfect, man. My theory, I didn't know if this would work by putting that antenna right there. That uh loading coil. But it sure did. I made the bracket out of a dang uh aluminum yardstick. Yep. These supports right here, I cut them on my little uh, circuit board cut plotter to hold them stable. This wire here, after I've tuned it, I got to cut this off. I'll pull this. I'll pull this fiberglass rod back out of there, and I'll seal it right here and right here on the end with the silicone. Man. This thing works good. And there's a one-to-one uh, -one transformer right there. I built that too. And uh, this cable. Yeah, sorry about the loud car. Uh, put this on here as strain relief so when they get to rotating this you know it, it won't pull on this and twist the cable and all now I got a, a bunch of cable here uh, in the loop where I can uh, when I rotate the antenna this thing here will move that's about it man me a long time took me a long time to develop this thing right here I had to I had to had to buy a LCR meter these are 9.4 micro Henry's yeah I'll give you the specs on the coil if you want to roll them yourself it's called roll your own I guess Okay, and I went through this, uh, I went through this rotator, serviced every, all the stuff in it, made this little, made this little plate here, and, uh, I'm using Cat 5 to power this thing, it's, it's always worked. Okay, that's gonna be it, this, this is, a. Uh, this cable here, man, this is some heavy duty stuff. And I got it. I got this I got this cable, a hundred foot of this cable for thirty bucks off eBay. It's uh it's double jacketed and the inside 
the inside wire is probably I don't know three sixteenths to an eighth in, I mean uh, eighth inch to three sixteenths copper that's heavy man there's my connections there I gotta seal them with silicone keep them from rusting okay get back over here yeah we just raised it just a while ago and I, I took the measurement on it Okay, that's it. I'll get you the measurements on the coils. All right.